Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or Nuznuz here, and today's video is going to be a video about ranking the top pocket slot items and showing how to use them to your advantage to increase your DPS while giving you all the info you need about these items, such as the initial cost of the items, the cost per hour of the items, how much DPS increase you can expect, and much more. Now I know for a lot of beginner PVMers, pocket slot items can be confusing to know which to use, and you'd honestly be surprised how many people just don't use any pocket slot items at all. Now the fact is, pocket slot items are crucial for increasing your DPS output at bosses, and there's a lot to choose from and lots of varying price points. So this guide is set to cover the top five in terms of DPS, and then I'll go through some budget options and some honorable mentions. So without further ado, make sure you leave a like below, and let's get started with number five. So coming in at number five is the Illuminated Book of Wisdom. Now, the Book of Wisdom is an illuminated god book that is obtainable after completing the quest One Piercing Note. Now, to create these books, you first need a normal Sarah Doman's Book of Wisdom, and you must go and craft this at the Abbey in Alcarid. This book will grant plus 7 to all style bonuses and also have a, has a plus 4 prayer bonus, making it a decent option if left uncharged. However, charging this book with Sarah Doman's pages will give you 45 minutes of active time per Sarah Doman page. The passive effect for this book has a 5% chance when activated for the special attack to activate per hit. When this book activates its special effect, a lightning strike hits the target for 165 to 275% damage, which is a really nice DPS boost. This book boasts a 5.28% DPS increase and it's based on your hits. So it has a 1 out of 15 chance of proccing per hit. This means it doesn't matter if you're doing low DPS, high DPS, or very little DPS, this book is still going to have the same chance to proc no matter what, which will lead to a very good DPS increase for beginners. The other great thing about this book is its cost. In total, you're going to be looking at spending around 900k GP per hour using this book, which makes it a really good option in terms of cost and DPS, and is honestly a great choice for any beginner PVMer. Coming up next on our list at number 4 is going to be the normal damage scrimshaws for range and mage. So the scrimshaw of cruelty for ranging and the scrimshaw of elements for magic. Now the reason these are above the illuminated book of wisdom is because of how the damage is calculated when you use these. So for the scrimshaw of elements and cruelty, you're looking at a 5% DPS increase, but this is based on your damage. So if you're doing let's say 100k damage in a minute, you're going to see a 5k damage increase. If you're doing a 200k damage in a minute, then you will see 10k damage increase and so on. The scrimshaws are better than the illuminated book of wisdom if you have decent DPS. If you're not confident in your DPS however, I wouldn't recommend using these over the book of wisdom. In terms of cost per hour, you're looking at a 2.3 million GP cost per hour, making them more than double the cost of the Book of Wisdom, but a better DPS increase if you're confident in your DPS. For me personally, I use scrimshaws like these at places like Telos, Rise of the Six, or a higher level PVM where I can justify the cost. And if you're confident in your DPS and have the money, these are honestly a great option. Ranking at number 3 on our list is going to be one of my personal favorite pocket slot items to use, which is the Illuminated Book of Law. Which, like the Book of Wisdom, is an illuminated god book charged with armadillo pages. Now this god book has a passive with a 5% chance per hit to activate, and it will shoot out a tornado that spins at the target's location, dealing 4 hits of damage in 4 ticks for a total of 180% to 300% damage. Using this book, your effective DPS increase is about 5.76%, and it doesn't matter the damage you're dealing, as the special attack is based off your hits and not your damage. 
In terms of cost, this is around the same price to use as the normal scrimshaws, looking at around 2.3 to 2.5 million GP per hour using this book. I personally use this book a ton at places like Raksha and Elite Dungeons and other places too as it's just a really nice DPS increase and it doesn't cost too much. It's just all around an amazing option whether you're a beginner PVMer or high tier one, so I highly recommend looking into this book. All right, so now coming in at number two is going to be the superior damage scrimshaws, which include the superior scrimshaw of cruelty and the superior scrimshaw of the elements. Now, these scrimshaws are items that can be made in the player owned port workshop with a level 92 fletching, and you will also need four scroll pieces of the scrimshaw that you're trying to make. You will also need 10 ancient bones to make each scrimshaw. Now when equipped, these scrimshaws give a 6.66 DPS increase, which are notably better than the normal scrimshaws and the Armadil book. In terms of cost per hour, these scrimshaws are untradeable, which of course is the downside as you'll need to do ports and get these yourself. And you will be using ancient bones to make them, which will make the effective cost around 1.7 to 2 million GP per hour. But if you have these unlocked in ports and have ancient bones, I honestly highly recommend making yourself a bunch of these as they're really an amazing option for increasing your DPS wherever you go. All right guys, so finally coming in at number one in the best pocket slot items to increase your DPS is the super overpowered Arethdor's Grimoire. Now Arethdor's Grimoire is a pocket slot item that is dropped by the boss Solok. This item will require an upfront cost of a whopping 400 million GP to purchase it. And then of course you'll need to charge it as well. What the Grimoire does is it increases your critical strike chance by 12%, which is absolutely massive. It also increases your damage cap from 12K to 15K, meaning that you can hit a maximum of 15K instead of 12K which is huge in terms of PVMing. As you'll notice when I PVM and use Ruby Bacriminal Bolts, I'm hitting huge 12K hits a ton, which using the Grimoire, this will allow those 12K hits to become 15K hits if available, which is insanely overpowered. Lastly, the Grimoire also gives a plus seven style bonus to all styles and a plus four prayer bonus, just like the Illuminated God books. In terms of DPS increase, the Grimoire will increase your DPS by about 8%, and that's not including the raised damage cap, which is an absolutely massive DPS increase. However, the cost of using a Grimoire, not even including the 400 mil cost to purchase it, is around 7.8 million GP per hour. Yes, you heard me right, 7.8 mil GP per hour. However, a silver lining is you can use a Grimoire for absolutely free at Solok, which means if you plan on doing a lot of Solok, the Grimoire is a must have as you won't be paying anything to use it other than the upfront cost. In terms of other places that I personally use a Grimoire or would recommend using the Grimoire, I only really use this at Solok for free, and then I will use it at super high enraged Telos or if I'm on a long Telos streak, and then I'll also use it if I'm going for record kills or speed kills at very, very high level bosses. I would only recommend the Grimoire if you have a ton of other high level gear and perks and honestly just have a lot of money you're willing to spend. Or if you're thinking about camping a ton at Solok, it's really good for there as of course you won't be spending any money on charges. But for me personally, I'll just use the Superior Scrimshaws and Illuminated Book of Law almost everywhere, and usually I only whip out the Grimoire for certain scenarios. Alright, so now that we've gone through the top 5 best pocket slot items for DPS increase, I'm going to go through two honorable mentions. Now the first is going to be if you're looking for a budget option. The Illuminated Book of Balance is a great option on a budget. It's an effective 4.8 DPS increase and has an AoE effect as its special attack. 
The best thing though about this option is it's only going to cost you around 175k GP per hour to use, which makes it great if you're doing Slayer or you aren't doing high enough level PVM to justify the higher prices of the other god books or scrimshaws. Finally, a bit of a weird honorable mention that I thought I would tell you guys about is the Book of Death. The Book of Death is unlocked from Death's store for 500 Reaper points. You will then need to craft it with a Cut Hydrix and Death's Notes and it will cost you around 84 million GP to craft and then 8 million GP to recharge fully. However, the passive effect of this book gives it a 1 out of 30 chance per hit to activate and when this activates it will instantly kill a monster. Now this doesn't work on bosses or anything so don't get too excited. The best place to use this book would be niche scenarios like killing things like rune dragons, gemstone dragons, or high level slayer creatures with really high level hit points that you just want to get through the task and kill as fast as possible. But in terms of bossing, it's not really applicable and the scrimshaw or god book is almost always better. So I hope this video helped you out. I know pocket slot items can be confusing for newer PVMers, and I hope this video kind of showed you the rank of things in terms of DPS increase, and hopefully this will help you find the right pocket slot item for you to increase your DPS and help you on your journey of PVMing. If this video helped you out, make sure to leave a like as it really helps out the video, and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already uh, for more RuneScape 3 content like this. A ton of you aren't subscribed so if you aren't click that subscribe button it really means a lot to me and uh yeah thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next video